Choosing the right business entity for your startup. Partnership. Want to know how to work with your friends by staying on the same page, even if you've never done this before? How about I tell you that it is possible to work in a group while having fun with no worries? I know what you're thinking, that it would be exactly the same. If you consider partnership, either two or 20 people, you can do it in Pakistan, making business a fun thing for young people, so bring on board all the Pakistani nationals. But if there are foreign nationals, they will have a fun meeting with home department or to get a work visa. Nevertheless, keep in mind these are some important steps, but I'm sure you guys are smart. Some of the other things, just like sole proprietorship, there is no separate legal entity. While all partners are free to contribute whatever they want in the business, opening a bank account and selecting a legal name can be done here. Your business will survive anything. Even if some of the partners want to leave, you say your goodbyes to them without having to worry anything because some friendships are more than working together. Even though registration and audit is optional, but it is important to get all the partners registered because we don't want to leave anyone behind, do we? Unregistered partnership is like uncooked noodles. Can't have comfort unless it is well cooked. Let's be honest, winning makes the game more fun. Plus, there are bragging rights at stake. Before you know it, you could be boasting in front of your relatives and make them realize she, in fact, can do anything. If we talk about advantages of partnership, there are few, but fun to know about, like easy and inexpensive to create, optional registration, but make sure to always get yourself registered. But there are also some disadvantages. Like too many partners cannot always be fun because all the partners become liable to a third party if any one of the partner becomes liable. There is another type of partnership as well. A lot of options to keep friends together. This type of partnership is known as the limited liability partnership. It is the same but the liability is limited. Sounds cool, right? The entity of the business forms the partners and registration, but a little regulation is required for now. The benefits for this type of partnership include that the liability is limited. Anyone can own it, even the foreigners. It is safe if there's a dispute among partners. It protects the partners from the liability by any other partner outside the organization. It has its own disadvantages though such as more regulations. It is costly. And if two people remain in such a partnership, it will be dissolved in six months. I know, right?